one of my cousin who is married and have one son had an established business in Australia and moved from Australia to Canada now in specifically to Windsor where I'm living so in this video I'm gonna cover how did he came to Canada because you know the process so all those details and also we'll be sharing at the end why because you know moving a family and shutting down and running business is not easy so there should be a strong reason behind it so in this video I'll be sharing that reason and you know what's his future plans are so stay tuned Namaskar, welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya Soma. I'm actually a real estate investor and realtor here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. So in this channel, I talk a lot about, you know, financial freedom, how to achieve financial freedom through real estate. And also here and there, I'll try to help, you know, immigrants like me who are coming from different countries to Canada, you know, my point of view about Canada. So if those are the topics you're interested in, please don't hesitate to hit that like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification. So for future videos, so you don't miss any awesome content. So again, you know, the reason for picking this topic because you know on my channel I've been asked many times from many of my you know fellow Indians you know my family from back home many people said hey Aditya I would love to come to Canada what are the options available so that's the reason you know I'm making this video so first of all my cousin he's been trying to come to Canada since last two years so from last two years first thing he tried because one of the best and easiest way to come to Canada is through express entry so if you search Express Entry Canada which is a program that allow anyone to come to Canada and get directly a PR so it's generally like 10 months to one year process if your application get picked up so I don't want to go deep into that program and all I'm not an expert in those areas but uh, you know I'll just say search Express Entry Canada you will see a lot of articles and process how it works so this process you will get PR and then you move to Canada so which he tried for that one of the biggest requirement is you need to have a high English score which he tried a couple of times and he couldn't able to get the qualified points in order to get the express entry so after like trying for a few months I think eight months or one year then he decided okay you know what probably this is not gonna work out he put that application in progress it's still in the process and then he tried applying for study visa he and his wife like so probably one of them were planning for study visa so that you know his wife gets a study visa he can get spouse visa or if he gets a study visa his wife can get a spouse visa which is work visa so one person can get study visa one person can get work visa so that's another option available for many people who are you know looking into that's how my wife came to Canada as well so in which you have to go to the university and you know my cousin he's in like mid 30s pretty much his wife the same so they were like um do i want to go to school again they had a you know work experience and he was a self-employed and um you know he has a running business in australia and his wife was um, working in her own you know background of education so they were like you know going back to school was a little bit harder decision but they said okay you know what we'll use this option if the first option didn't work out if the other options don't work out and while we are trying out all these options Options. you know randomly one of my good friend from here in Canada said okay you know what Aditya I have some openings that I'm looking for this so-and-so skill and that skill set exactly what my cousin's wife was having so you know what I immediately reached out maybe you know we can get a close work permit through LMIA because you know if any company um, here in Canada give you a job opportunity and if they're willing to apply for LMIA which is again not an easy process generally not many companies will give that LMIA because if a company in order to uh, you know for them to offer you a job and bring you to Canada on closed work permit they have to first prove to the Canadian government that their company is solidly established enough and their job role that they're looking to hire they couldn't find labor here in Canada so which is not that easy again that's exactly the uh, process in this particular you know my cousin's case this was the role where you know my friends 
here in Canada who were already looking for a candidate. They couldn't find one and it matched with my cousin's wife. So it was a perfect match. So again, that's where the connections makes a lot of difference. So if you have some friends and family here, reach out to them, ask, you know, if anyone have any requirements based on your qualifications. If someone have a job, they might be able to help you in that process. So luckily it worked out well for my cousin. So they applied LMIA for this particular job role and applied closed work permit for my cousin's wife. So she got a closed work permit and because she has a closed work permit valid for I believe two years and on that basis my cousin applied spouse dependent work visa. So which is like you know you can get a work visa like if your spouse has a study visa or work visa uh, you can get this spouse work visa so he got a work permit she got a closed work permit so he can work anywhere and his wife has to work for the company so that's what they are doing so they moved here it took like almost uh, i believe five to six months the whole process after the company has accepted their application uh, uh, accepted the resume you know everything after all the interviews once they qualified like you know the candidate since the process has started like application to the CIC from there it took like five to six months I believe so again that's one thing if you are you know somewhere in India or Australia or different countries you're planning to come to Canada um, one way is express entry if you can crack the IELTS score because that process is the best way where you can get permanent residency directly or the other way if you have a if you can go to school going to university or college and uh, that's another easiest process or if a company you know looking for a specific skill set that they couldn't find here may Maybe again you know especially I was very scared about this job opportunities because there were so many scams happening you know especially in different countries where they say that they're gonna send to Canada and they have like you know this labor jobs uh, availabilities those are not really you know 100% uh, not 100% sure if they're legal or not so always make sure you check with any of your friends here located in Canada because you know there is very specific set of rules from Canadian government that only specific roles the jobs that any company could not find employees in Canada they are the one qualify and they have to have a solid reputation they have to have certain amount of income and certain amount of employees in their company those are the only one who can offer this job offer to outside the candidates outside of Canada so that's what uh, my cousin has done so they closed work permit for the wife and spouse work permit for him and dependent visa for the son so that's how they came to Canada so now moving on to the next topic which is like you know first of all why because you know that's a question I asked him like man you have a nice business going on uh, he's making pretty decent income in Australia and self-employed like you know his life was going well and I'm like what's going on why do you want to move here because that's the first question I asked like two years ago when he started to start the process so his response was two major reasons one you know he don't have a status in Australia like permanent residency status which is getting complicated to get permanent residency there because their rules has changed and they're you know making it tougher and tougher for him so you know he want because with, if you have a status of permanent residency or citizenship that will help you and your family to get settled in that area so that was becoming harder in the city in the country that he is in so whereas in Canada right now for people who are in Canada it's much easier to get permanent residency because Canadian government is very you know lenient for immigrants like us to get settled down here because we are you know in return helping the Canadian economy because you know a lot of most of the immigrants are hardworking and uh, uh, skilled workers so who's gonna you know come and work here pay the taxes help the government at the same time get the status so we can live here for you know over the period so that was one of the reason and the second reason he told me is like you know he kind of got plateau in his business where you know that's his the income he's making and he's not any more passionate about that 
he have some passion but you know he's he started to watch my videos for last like four years since i'm doing and he was like getting very motivated to get into real estate which he looked in real australia because he don't have a status which is getting harder and harder whereas in canada there are options you know once you have permanent residency you can get into you know investing you can get into sales which he's very interested in so you know that's something really resonated to him so because you know i'm already you know being a cousin being here with the support he, he would love to you know get into that business so that was the second reason and the third reason was you know kids future because one thing in western countries especially in canada and us the education system is really good and the health system also like again this is my personal opinion even the health system the you know you in canada hospital you know pretty much everything is for free for permanent residents so that's very attractive because you know now you don't have to like majority of your cost is gone so those are the three major reasons why he chose to move in here so his future plans already like he's it's been like four months he's here already he's at the final exam for real estate uh, license becoming an agent um you know he's going to start working with me so again he's super excited about that he's a bit of camera shy that's why he didn't show up on this camera uh, probably I'll, tr I'll try to drag him someday and uh, you know make some content with him you know as hear all this story from his mouth because it's 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 different when you hear from the actual person who moved but again you know that's a story um hope you know i thought this would help many immigrants who are thinking of canada again for me personally i love canada because you if you have been watching my videos you know that you know this is one of the best country i could ever ask it's a blessing to be here um you know of course and it's a blessing for me to travel back and forth with my motherland and here you know where i'm my goal is always to go back to india every year at least three months four months there and um, you know a few months here so that way i can have my pleasure there and i have um, my financials here because Canada with Canada with this real estate that became true for me so I just came from India recently like I was there for two months so that's the goals uh, that you can achieve when you have a status so that was my uh, reason and that's all that's my opinions and you know my my experience so far so hope this is helpful for you guys if you have any questions you know I'll do my best to answer leave a comments below so that I can answer but uh, you know if there are certain areas that I don't know because it, trust me immigration related stuff it's not my strength I I don't know much about that i just gave what i know but i can definitely recommend you some people i have some connections like immigrant lawyers and uh, different people so if you need any help let me know in the comments i'll do my best to help you you know give some resources yeah uh, connect you some people who whom i know so with that guys thank you so much hope this is helpful don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button and the bell notification until then see you later in the next video with more videos